There is more fallout from a story we told you about last night. An Ontario judge is in hot water after he reportedly wore a hat supporting Donald Trump in a Hamilton courtroom. The local councillor in the area is speaking out about this. And as Lena Latifat reports, the controversy is sparking mixed reaction from the public. We're going to make America great again. Donald Trump's campaign slogan, back so soon, this time stirring up controversy here at home. According to a Globe and Mail report, it was here at Hamilton's John Sapinka courthouse that a judge walked in with a Make America Great Again hat the day after the election. For people who have watched this story and somehow think that this is just about a hat, oh no, it's about much more. It's about what that hat symbolizes, the fear that it instills in people. And it's really about the influence that it has uh, presented in our judiciary system. In a social media post, Hamilton Councillor Matthew Green calls for Judge Bernard Zabel to step down or be removed from the bench. If that judge wants to be a, po a politician, then I encourage him, I call on him to step down from his bench and to run for elected office where he is free to say whatever he so chooses. Green notes a document from the principles of judicial office states judges must not participate in any partisan political activity. But this Waterloo City Councilor says, hold on, what does Trump have to do with our legal system? For me, it reminds me of a Canadian who likes NFL football and they want to wear their Buffalo Bills hat. Same thing, doesn't affect the outcome of anything. This criminal defense lawyer says political affiliations don't belong in the courtroom, neither do hats of any kind. I think to me the key isn't so much what political affiliation he's showing, it's the fact that he's showing any sort of political statement while in the courtroom, which is not the place for politics. Meanwhile, Green says he's filing a complaint with the Ontario Judicial Council and hopes to hear from the judge himself. Lena Latifat, CTV News.